My name is Don Shaw, and uh, I've been a Granby resident for 50 years and a member of the camera club and enjoy taking pictures too. Then we have three properties on what's called the Old Messenger Road Preserves, the Kate and Enzor Preserve, the Schlick Family Preserve, and the Richard P. Garmony Preserve. All of them acquired within the last 12 years. With the Kate and Ensor Preserve opened up in 2019, that allowed the land trust really to open up the trails to the Schlick Family Preserve and the Garmony Preserve. If you go to the end of Strong Road off of West Granby Road, you're going to come to the parking lot, and this part is the Kate and Ensor Preserve. And when that opened up, it allowed the Schlick uh, Preserve to be accessed readily and then from there to the Garmony property. And we've got some photos we're going to show about uh, what you would see along the way as you hike up those trails. First off, when you get to the end of uh, Strong Road, you're going to see the entrance to the Caton Ensor property. And that's the Caton's uh, horse barn on the right. And uh, there's some activity about uh, preserving that to some extent and possibly still using it. The, the homestead is no longer there, but the, the barn is. And you don't have to open up the gate. You just walk around it because the gate is there to prevent vehicles from going up there. And just follow this uh, uh, trail up. The Caton Ensor has one loop trail. As you're headed across Caton and up toward the Schlick property, you're going to cross some water. This particular footbridge was contributed by Dave Emery's sawmill, and they built it with the, I believe, the Youth Conservation Corps, which is another thing that the uh, Granby Land Trust, under Rick Orlick's direction, uh, instituted, where we have Granby students who are part of the Conservation Corps who supplement what the uh, property stewards do on a volunteer basis to keep the trails clean and free and, and uh, um, you know, the branches and all that and litter cleaned up and things like that. And then at the very end of the uh, Garmony property, you're going to see some, uh, <clears throat> there's some real history there. And actually, it, it's along the old Creamery Hill Road, which you can't navigate that at all, but that, that came right up the, uh, up the hill to the homestead. Then back down at the Caton property, if you're just, uh, just standing where their old homestead was, this is a nice crisp winter day. It's the horse barn and the snow on the trees. Just, uh, just a lovely experience if you're up there. And you can snowshoe. Uh, I've done that through the property. And uh, you know, just got to be careful because you want to stay on the trail and not go off the trail because I did that once and it was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I, I nearly broke my shin stepping in a hole, so Peggy remembers that. <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> Mountain Brook runs through uh, fr down from the Garmony property, down parallel pretty much to the old Creamery Hill Road, and uh, here's some uh, video of of the uh, waterfall. Uh, Yeah, it's beautiful. You, you can get close, but not. I wouldn't go venturing on the rocks to get a good photo, it's a, unless you um, are really sure-footed, and I'm not. So, uh, here's some still photos of that waterfall. It's just a lo especially obviously when it's it's been raining. It's just a, f a force of nature going down the hill. This is the fall shot. Um, at the Schlick property, there is something called Scarlet Tanager Outlook. And this is at the very top. And again, the, 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 the climb is, will get your heart pumping. And I, I would take a hiking or a trekking pole or two with you to go up it. But at the very top, what you're looking at is uh, eastward, a direct eastward view from the lookout. And uh, it's actually um, a scene from Putt Brown's bench, who was uh, very instrumental in creating the Granby Land Trust. And uh, there's a bench dedicated to Putt that's right there. So you can sit and watch the view if you like. Also, the, uh, it looks like there's a huge drop off, but actually uh, that's just a, a 
uh, optical illusion. <laughs> it kind of slants down. So, uh, but you can pose on that and say you're right at the edge of a cliff. So, <laughs> the other thing about this is if I was able to zoom in right in the center where there's a shadow on the land, far in the far distance, if you had your binoculars or zoomed in with a camera, you would see the top of Granby High School. So, so you're just overlooking Granby from that scene. There's a gazebo up there, so I would say uh, you can access that very quickly on the Caton property. It's just, a, it's just a few hundred yards from the entrance, and if you're so inclined, take a picnic, you get into the gazebo, there's a table and some chairs there. So um, Joan Caton had uh, some lovely wildflowers, so when they're in bloom, it's nice to walk along the property and uh, see those. So, uh, you know, take your morning coffee or something and enjoy the, enjoy the sit down. Here's a view of it at sunrise, as uh, and you can do that too. <laughs> Just go in there, uh, because the sun's coming up from that direction and in this photo. And then there was a group of us that went up one day. We met at the parking lot at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> And we all had flashlights because you needed them to get up there to see the sunrise. Uh, and it came up, and everybody was clicking their cameras away at it. But it was, you know, it was dark, but you got this really nice shades of color that, uh, um, with the sun just peeking above the horizon.